Blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning. So in this video, we're going to learn how to configure standard access control list using Cisco packages. So I'll open our Google spreadsheet and let you know that today we're in number 11, part one, access control list standard, right? Okay, so um, just a brief uh, explanation of what access control list is, is a, is a rule or a policy that we use to uh, control traffic, where we want the traffic to go and where we don't want the traffic to go, okay? All right, so in this topology here, if I can just explain what we are trying to achieve here, you can see we have um, two subnets, two subnet net nets, uh, one is inside, another one is connecting to uh, the server farm or the servers okay so although these two departments they're in the same network you see they're in the same network but i only i only want uh it computers to access the servers and i don't want hr computers to access the servers so to achieve that we have to implement access control list and we're going to start with standard access control list all right okay so i'll open notepad so let the steps that we're going to follow to achieve this objective. All right. So configuring standard access control list. The first step is always to draw the necessary topology, decorate and comment. So like, like I've explained earlier that we want to achieve a situation whereby uh, only IT department computers are able to access the servers, but we want to block any other traffic from accessing the servers, right? All right, so just make sure you use 2911 router. You do the comments like I've done here. Use 2911, 2960 switches, okay? And, com and some servers, two servers, and the computers, right? Okay. So the second step is to configure IP address to the routers and the host computers. So uh, as you can see in this diagram here, we want to configure IP address to this interface and this interface. So this interface will take 192.168.10.1. This will take 10.10.10.1, 10, 10 okay? All right, so this interface is the default gateway of these servers. This interface here is the default gateway of all of these computers, being that they belong to the same network, all right? Despite they are in, the, in, they are in different departments, okay? All right. So I'll start, so I'll just say this is, uh, this is gig 01, but this is gig 02, okay? All right, so I just go there, and I come to config gig 01, you turn it on fast, and I send an IP address very, very fast every time. Okay, then we do for the computers and the servers, so let me start from the server side. So this is the IP address. Right, so we're done configuring IP address uh, to the routers interfaces and the computers plus the servers, okay? So the next step is to uh, test communication whether these departments or these two departments can communicate with the servers, okay? All right, so let me try from this one and I come to command prompt and try to ping IP address of any server. So let's just try to choose 10.10.10.20, um, uh, 10, 10, 10 so ping. 10.10.10.20 So uh, it should ping because uh, it's direct connected to the routers. The two networks are direct connected to the routers. Yes. All right. So also in the HR department, so I'll try to ping from the HR department. Test if uh, all the computers can reach the servers. 10.10.10. Okay. All right. So before you can implement access control list, we should test first whether uh, the hosts are reachable. Okay, all right. So when you go back to our notepad, we see that we try configure standard access control list to only permit the two IT PCs, computers, while denying the rest. Okay, all right. So where are we gonna com uh, configure the access control list? It's on the router here. Okay, all right. So we just click on the router. Come to CLI and uh, exit. So the first thing that we do, we create uh, an access control list with a number, okay? And remember, this is a standard access control list. So the standard access control list, the number ranges from one to 100, 
when you move to 101 that's now ex extended access control list so we have to uh create an access control list with a number which is uh between one and 100 okay or right. so we just say access access list uh let's say 10 okay then permit permit let's query permit host yes we just want to permit host we, just, we don't want to permit the entire network because when we permit the entire network even this host will be accepted okay so we just uh want to permit a specific host okay all right so permit host 192.168.10.10 the tpcs okay and hit enter then uh, the same access control is 10 we need to permit the second pc okay we eat it then using this the same access control list we need to deny any other host so just say access list 10 deny any then let me query yes that's all deny any so it's this access control is 10 will only creates a rule creates a policy or a rule to only allow these two ip addresses Whenever the another IP address comes, it will be blocked because we are now uh, specifying a denying row. We just hit enter, and that's all. Then remember, this access control is has not taken effect. It has not been put into use. It it has be, just been configured but not put into use. So we need to put it into use. So that's why uh, point number six, point number five tells us that we need to bind. The access control is created on either of the router's interfaces so we can bind it here so that whenever traffic is coming the traffic is uh, inspected first or whenever the traffic is leaving this interface the traffic is inspected first so uh, for standard access control is the best way is always to uh, apply it on the source uh, interface so before it goes out okay so, so for example, when it's, get, it's just getting inside uh, this interface, it's be, it's being inspected against this policy, this policy here. Okay. All right. So, which interface was this one? Gig zero one. So we just say interface gig zero slash one, and we say access access group access. Uh, IP access, yes, it just say IP access group 10. Remember, access group 10, then you say in because the traffic is trying to get through this interface. Okay, if it was if you were to apply it here, then you could say interface gig 02, then IP access group 10 out. Okay, then we just try to query. You can say, uh, query, you can say it's in. Okay, inbound packets. Okay, then it enter exit. And do right so we, if you can just say uh, and show access uh, access list you can see uh, we we, need, we have a, a standard IP access list 10 then here are the rules permit that IP address permit this one and deny any IP address so I'll go back to the computers again and try to ping Remember, the first time we tried to ping from our ITPC to one of the servers, it was successful. So let's try to do it again. You see, it's going through because that IP, which is 10, 10, 9, 1 and 2, 168, 10, 10, has been permitted here. Okay? Alright, so let's go to any of the uh, HR computers. So which one was that? Uh, sorry. Uh, which one was that? Um, it was this one. Okay. Remember, the first time we tried to ping from one of the HR computers to the servers, we got the replies and it was successful. So when I tried to ping again, can you see what's happened? The destination host is unreachable because the traffic there is inspected against this policy here. Where is it? The policy here. This po these three policies permit that IP address, permit this IP address, and deny any. So whenever this host try to communicate and that IP address reaches here, the access 
uh, access list 10 will be triggered and the policy will be applied and you know that IP address is not listed among the permitted IP so basically it's under denied IP so it will never communicate so guys basically that's how to configure a uh, standard access control list uh, using Cisco Packet Tracer and I believe this video has really helped you now to do it easily okay all right thank you so much please subscribe to my channel uh share this video with friends like this video and drop a comment below bye see you again in the next class